My next guest has one of the most recognizable voices on television. Um, let me show you a clip first. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You're about to meet Bart Simpson. Some of you might be surprised at what you're about to see. Please welcome Nancy Cartwright. I guess most people know that Bart's a girl. I don't think so. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, Bart's a mom. <laughs> Not just a girl, but a mom. That's right. Now, how many kids do you have? Two kids. Do they understand this yet? Uh, well, Jackson is only eight months old, so he's not oh. quite there yet. Um, I think my daughter actually does. One time, you know, they've got the Bart dolls that talk. Mm -hmm. One time I was sitting on the back patio with Lucy, and I was sitting there, I was just fooling her out there. I don't really do the voices around home mm -hmm. much to them. But I was playing with this doll and looking at it, and I just pulled the string, and Bart said something, and Lucy goes, Mama! So, oh. you tell it to me. <laughs> That's very cute, though. That, now, you don't do them at home. You don't ever, like, to break the ice, get mad at your husband, and use another voice, or...? Actually, now that I think about it, <laughs> um, when I get mad at my husband, well, sometimes, you know, it really helps settle an argument if you put a little humor into the situation, if we're disagreeing about something, that I'll just look at him and say, hey, don't have a cow, man, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That you know, I bet there are a lot of people wondering, <laughs> oh, you took the place of Bart. Yeah, I bet a lot of people are wondering why didn't they go with a 10-year-old boy? Well, actually, um, it's fairly common for women to do voices of, uh, of little kids, especially boys. Because, well, if they would have cast a real 10-year-old boy, we're going into our fourth season right now, his little voice would have changed. Yeah. Um, who's the lady that does Rocky? Um... Oh, June Frey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I she's something else. She's a pioneer. You know, she's been around for a very long time, and she worked very closely with my mentor, Dawes Butler. Right. Yeah. So they're like, like, to you, what Richard Pryor is to me. Yeah, yeah. They've been around. She knows her stuff, and she continues to work all the time. She's amazing. You know, she did Rocky J. Squirrel, and she was doing this kind of a... I think Rocky was probably a boy, don't you? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a squirrel, so... Oh, never mind. I, I was going to go for a <laughs> joke. Um, <laughs> we'll just take that right out. and Nobody at home will ever know. Uh, <laughs> you two friends of Bart, too, right? Yeah. I think I, I don't do all the boys on the show, but I don't play very many girls on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Now, now, which one of them do you... Well, I'm Todd Flanders. He's a little study buddy. Hey, hey, Bart, yeah, listen, you want to come on over? And uh, I was just wondering, um, I've got a song, and maybe we could sing it together. It goes like this. Bringing in the sheaves. Everybody, bringing in the sheaves. He's a Christian boy. Yeah, and, and... Uh, <laughs> they're in tune to it. Yeah. And... Ah, this is great. Um, a lot of people are interested sometimes in knowing how, you know, how I got the voice of Bart Simpson. Mm -hmm. And the process is really kind of fun, is that I'll go in and they'll show me a picture of the character mm -hmm. and um, then a description of the character. So I'm doing this show now for Disney called Goof Troop, and this is the little character, her name's Pistol. And she's five years old and she's just full of beans. And this is Pistol, and she would, I would look at this and, and he, know that description of her and come up with a voice. The pistol would say something like, Gosh, I just found out my dad is into duck hunting. I'm, I want somebody to please adopt me. <laughs> this is pistol. That works. That works for that face. Yeah. Hair. You know what I always wonder? Uh, Bart has a lot of hooks, and I see him on T-shirts that kids are wearing. Yeah. Um, do the writers write all those? Do you come up with that stuff? Um, sometimes the writers come up with it, but there's a lot of freedom on the show. The writers are very supportive of the actors and kind of depend on us in a way to ad lib so that we can flesh out, so to speak, these one-dimensional characters. 
you know what I mean? It's like every now and then what'll happen is we'll do a, um, a table reading of the script and the actors will just throw in ad libs. And some of these things are the, what's written on the t-shirts, the um, uh, eat my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that out too. <laughs> no, no, this, no this we can say you like this story. Can, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in the marching band in high school, um, I, I was in the marching band. And the drummers would play this drum cadence. Dun 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 dun. dun. We'd say Fairmont West. Now there's 200 people marching from the high school over to the football stadium, and we we'd say Fairmont West. Nobody knows what we're saying, but it was just part of the cadence, you know. But because nobody knew what we were saying, the drummers would go, dun 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 eat my shorts, dun 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 eat my shorts. <laughs> and this, I don't know, it came out at one of the table readings, and next thing I know, there it is in the script. Oh. <laughs> and that's where that came from. Yeah. Now, now are there, uh, what's, the, what's the biggest one? I guess it would be Don't Have a Cow, right? Yeah. Pro well, I don't know. Bart, Bart phrase, Don't Have a Cow, Get Bent. You can take oh, yeah. that one out, too. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean the same no, no. for Bart as it no. does... For like Cheech and Chong. <laughs> it's a different thing, right? Well, I'll tell you what, the people that watch the show, you get out of it what you get out of it. You know, my two year old gets something out of it, you get something out of it, my yeah. grandparents get something out of it. It's a good thing about our show. And huge names coming to the show now. Yeah. Flocking to the show. What, what was the deal with the Michael Jackson? What, what was that about? Michael Jackson? Can we even talk about that? Uh, no, I don't it was, know. He it was wasn't weird. even on the show, was he? I don't uh, remember seeing his name on the yeah, show. Was, that was weird. I mean, <laughs> See, I know you can't, you can't really talk much about this. How many saw that episode where you... Yeah. Yeah. But there was some kind of weird... I don't even know why I brought this up, because I know you can't talk about it. There was some kind of thing where he wasn't in the credits, but he was there, but he, you can't tell he was there. And, yeah, I'm not sure if he was there or not. And he know? was bald and had a big nose, but it wasn't like, you know, <laughs> it wasn't Michael like we know Michael. Let's move on to something else. <laughs> what stars can you tell me about that are, have ah. done it and will be doing it? Well, let's see. Um... Tom Jones is coming up. Good. Yeah, I didn't get to work with him, though. See, a lot of times the, the, the celebrities that come on our show, their schedules or whatever, we accommodate so that they can be on our show, but sometimes we don't get to work with them. But Batman was on. Yeah. Batman and the Bartman, and that was pretty cool. There's, there's, it's, it's very, very fun. There's a, the producers give us a lot of freedom as well as the celebrities that come on to the show. And that's the great thing about it is there's so much freedom in what I do that as an actor also, I could pursue other things. Yeah, yeah. And this is good. Well, I really appreciate you coming here. Say hello to James L. Brooks for me. Hey. And continued success. Thanks a lot. Give it up for The Voice. <laughs>